Velibor in Slovenia. I love people's names, Velibor. Wow, that sounds like uh, like an action hero or something. <laughs> I, I love it. Uh, and, and by the way, um, not to interrupt old Velibor here, but w this is our photo studio. For those of you that have taken our tour, and boy, after I announced that we're back open for tours here at PS Audio, uh, I'm guessing we've got three tours a day, every single day. We're meeting our Hi-Fi family members. They're coming through. I get to shake their hands, take a picture with them. It's great. Thank you so much for um, just seeing what we're doing. It's kind of fun. You'll, you'll see the little photo room. And you can't probably see it too well, but here is our latest product called the Stellar Gold line. And in the Stellar Gold line, currently, we have the Stellar Gold DAC and the Stellar Gold preamp. And these are killer products. Nice big, you probably can't see it, gold strip going on the front there. All right, anyway, uh, Velibor writes to me and he says, why is there such a difference in the quality of CD players when the same CD can be ripped to FLAC files on an ordinary desktop computer with the cheapest CD DVD unit and the result is that FLAC files are of the same quality as if ripped on the most expensive players. What's the reason for sound differences in playing the same CD on high quality CD players versus playing perfectly ripped FLAC files? Well, first off, I don't know if I agree with you. And I'll, I'll tell you why. In my experience, a ripped file on a computer played through USB into a highly resolving DAC is going to sound different than that same CD played, say, through our Perfect Wave SACD player. The bits, they're identical. I've, I've written a post about this. I've actually written several posts about this. <laughs> and even though the bits are identical, they will sound different. And the reason is kind of simple. In digital audio, the source, whether it's a CD player or whether it is a computer, becomes the master clock. Says, I'm streaming out a 44-1 signal. The DAC says, oh, okay, thanks. I'm going to grab that clock. I'm going to grab that data and do with it what I need to do. And in a perfect world, those identical bits would sound identical because they would be delivered identically, but they're not. Computers have much more noise, jitter. If you play a file through the built-in audio engine within a computer, like in Windows or in Mac, not going to sound very good, which is why we use programs like Rune, Autorvana, J River. They circumvent those built-in engines and give you the true direct file. But still, computers aren't as jitter and noise free as say a perfect wave SACD player. And that makes a difference in how it sounds. But the bits themselves, they are identical. It's just how they're delivered and what the DAC does with them. Which is another reason why when you stream stuff, you want to have something like our air lens because that takes all that noise and jitter and says, eh, I really don't care. I'm gonna put it into this big old buffer that is electrically isolated from the input where all the noise remains. And now I have this noise-free bucket full of bits that I can precisely output without noise, without jitter through a fixed clock into my DAC and life's good because I don't care what's over here. And that is a way to do it, but hope that answers your question. All right. Thanks. And if you do have a chance, you're in Boulder, drop on by and sh just show up for a tour and we will take care of you. Okay. Hope I see you. All right. Bye-bye.